can't just drop your trainers at school and neither can your dad. People don't put forgotten PE kits in taxis, Elliot. Oh, oh, excuse me. Everything okay? Well, I haven't finished my coffee. And you? You've been sat with it long enough. Perhaps I've got things on my mind. Anyway, I'm not on the clock, am I? Fine, have it back then. Probably gold now, huh? Shut Hiya. I was going to come see you after Fear was asking yesterday. Everything all right? Not really, no. Please tell me you didn't go and meet her. Oh, Mary. I needed answers, Susie. I needed to look her in the eye and ask her how she could treat me like that. And did it work? No, of course it didn't. Now I'm in an even worse mess. What are you talking about? Not here. She wants me to get all the charges against her dropped. I bet she does. Good luck with that one. Only it's not that simple. And why ain't it? There's this photograph of me taken after we'd... Um... I thought she'd deleted it. I asked her to, but... Turns out she kept it for insurance. Wait, she's blackmailing you? Yeah. Says if I don't retract my statement by tomorrow afternoon, she will send the photograph to every single one of my phone contacts, which she also took without my permission. You're not going to give in to her, though, right? You heard what I said. One press of a button and she could ruin me. Mary, it's against the law. She'd get arrested. Well, some consolation. That'll be why my image is pinging its way around Yorkshire. Perhaps I just need all of this to go away. Have you thought of that? No, I haven't. Because you're no victim. Are you stronger than this? Yeah, shush now. Last thing I need is Rona knowing. Are you sure about that? Susie, please. You can't say a thing. OK, but I think you should. My call, right. You right, love? I was just about to ask you the same. I mean, if your migraine shifted. You were still in bed when I left. Oh, yeah, much better, thanks. I think I nipped it in the bud taking the day off yesterday. I'm so sorry I left Marlon in the lurch. Yeah, so was he. What with him not being allowed in the kitchen without an assistant. I nipped home yesterday. When you said your head was bad, I, I thought you'd be there. Oh, yes, I, I went over to David, see if he had anything for it, and then I thought maybe a walk would take the edge off. Right. I said I'm sorry, love. I know, I know. It's just, you know, it was your first proper shift and Marlon really needs you to be reliable. And so I will be from now on, I promise. Um, I've got Leo at home today with a poorly tummy. Marlon's sat with him now. I don't suppose you could be with him for an hour, could you, later? Just, Marlon needs to nip out. Of course I can. You can rely on me, Poppy. That's good to know. I found your poo bingo, Leo, love. Looks delightful, Leo. Are you in the sitting room? This looks very interesting. Oh, look, here's Grandma. Leo has just shown me a new app he's got. What's he now? Hmm. Leo Poppet, would you take your tablet upstairs? Go on, love. Good boy. What the hell are you playing at? I best remind you, the clock is ticking. Look, I've been mulling over how embarrassed you'd be if this got out. But not just you, your whole family. Imagine how April would look at you. And the stick she'd get at school. Why are you doing this? Because I cared for you, because I thought you were decent. Because I don't want to go to prison, Mary. And regrettably for you, I've got nothing to lose. So why go down without a fight, I say? I could tell the police what you're doing. What, and expose yourself to more humiliation, if you'll forgive the turn of phrase? No. I won't forgive you. I won't forgive any of it. That's a good job all I care about is you retracting your statement, then. Supposing I was thinking about it, but what's to stop you blackmailing me again? You, you've still got the photo. We can meet tomorrow. 
And once the police confirm that the charges have been dropped, obviously, you can delete the photo yourself. Rona! What is she doing here? Me and Mary. We're just having a little chat. What sort of chat? Did you invite her? Of course I didn't. Good. Then I would like you to leave right now or I am calling the police. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not stopping. <sighs> and I'm guessing it is a date for tomorrow afternoon then. Let's say two o'clock. What's the date? What is she talking about? Oh, Mary will fill you in. I'll be in touch about where to meet. Daddy, bye. I wasn't comfortable with her taking the picture at the time and asked her to delete it. She lied that she had. Oh, Mum. And now she's threatening to send it to everyone on my phone. Everyone, Rona. As if I haven't been made enough of a fool of. You are not a fool. Faye is evil. And you've just been, you've been horribly unlucky. Or rather, she sought me out because I'm an easy target. Why did you even let her in here? I didn't. I just nipped upstairs to get Leo's game when I came back. She was there. With Leo? Yeah. Sitting on the sofa with him, looking at his tablet like nothing was amiss. I don't believe this. So, she's broken in here and then she tries to involve Leo in all of this? No, no, no. She didn't upset Leo at all. I'm certain of that. She's, um... She's given me until tomorrow to retract my statement. No, Mum, you can't. Look, her blackmailing you and showing up here only strengthens the case against her. That woman needs locking up. And in the meantime, I'm laughed about and ridiculed like some stupid, desperate, gullible woman. She is not going to do this to you, OK? We will fix this, I promise. We? Who's we? You're not to tell anyone. You must promise me that. No, I mean you and me, OK? We will work through this together. Did you, how? I lay awake all night trying to think of a solution. There isn't one. I lose whatever happens. I need to go for a walk. Get rid of this headache before I start Right, I'll come with you. No, no, no. I... I want to spend some time alone. Mum. Mum! Could you please stop doing that before you cut your finger off? Oh, will you look at me, please? <laughs> Having to face Pierce in court is one of the hardest things I have ever had to do, but it gave me back the power and the control that he tried to take from me. If you don't fight this now, Faye will have a hold over you forevermore. I'm aware of that. Then stand up to her! How? I'm already getting cold feet about going into court, having the whole thing dredged up again. My stupidity being put on public show. I think someone isn't stupid. Even so, I have to deal with the fallout. I have the opportunity here to stop this, spare myself the shame of it all. Are you honestly telling me that in my position you wouldn't be remotely... No, I wouldn't. I'm not you, am I? You know you're not the only one who could go to the police over this. What? What? Well, Faye was in my house. She was with my son. She definitely stole my passport after she conned you. I could go to the police about her blackmailing you. You would go against my wishes? <sighs> Only to protect you, Mum! That woman could be bluffing about that photo. People like her are, are cowards deep down. What if she's not bluffing? Everything all right? I can hear you down the corridor. What, what, what did you hear, exactly? No, we're fine, Chaz. Just... Mum and I are just having a heated debate about something. All oh, right, then. I'll have uh, two chicken tikka wraps when you're ready, please, Mary. Yeah, right. Absolutely. No problem. 